ridiculous, sublime, lethal, but awkward looking. These are just a few of the words used recently to describe the bizarre goal scoring phenomenon that is Erling Braut Haaland. In this video, we aim to delve deeper into what has made the world's best striker the frightening machine that he is today. as he continues to make the hardest part of the beautiful game look very, very easy. Norwegian Haaland was actually born in Leeds, England on July 21, 2000, the son of former Manchester City and Leeds player Alfie Haaland. Harry Kane must be delighted that Erling decided to represent his father's nation at international level rather than that of his birthplace. If you're wondering why Erling's recent demolition of Manchester United was so well received by his father, it's because his own career was cruelly cut short by a horrific tackle by United's Roy Keane. An incident which Keane has since admitted was an intentional revenge mission after an incident back in 1997, when Haaland had been winding him up. Although the incident didn't directly end his career, Alfie was never the same and his own Manchester City contract was terminated. Sorry United fans, Erling was never coming to the red side of Manchester. Erling Haaland's football career started when he was signed up by local side Bern at the age of five, but it could all have been very different for Haaland had he chosen a different path. It's reported that he actually still holds the world record for the longest standing jump, also at the age of five, of an impressive 1.63 meters. He could have been looking to take on the legacy of the likes of Mike Powell and Bob Beeman, rather than Messi and Ronaldo. Fortunately for us football fans, or unfortunately depending on who you support, Haaland took to football like a duck to water and immediately started banging in the goals. At the age of 15, the striker bagged 18 times in 14 appearances for Burns reserves before being given his first team debut by interim manager Alf Ingver Bernstein. It's hard to believe now, but Haaland was small in stature when he made his first team bow. Originally being asked to play out on the wing, before gravitating towards his favoured central role. Surprisingly, the goals didn't come, but the interest from other suitors did, and Haaland was eventually signed by Mulder, managed by Manchester United legend Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He managed just four goals in his first season, but matched that tally in one match in his following season, single-handedly destroying league leaders Bram Bergen. A 17-year-old Haaland starred in a 4-0 win, and if the attention of Europe's top clubs had not already been drawn to the teenage sensation, it had now. Red Bull Salzburg came calling in 2019, and that's when fans of football across Europe really woke up to the teenage prospect that looked set to dominate the game. Predictably, Haaland scored goals for fun in Austria's domestic competition, but it was his immediate success in football's top club competition that caused everyone to sit up and take notice. At this point, 19-year-old Haaland was a giant. His huge stature and shock of bright blonde hair would have been enough to make him stand out, but once again, he let his goals do the talking on the big stage. We already know that Haaland loves a hat-trick, so we shouldn't be surprised that his debut in the Champions League brought with it three goals against an unsuspecting gank side in a 6-2 Salzburg win. Haaland then went on to score in five consecutive Champions League matches becoming the first teenager to do so and joining an elite list of players to score in the first five games of a Champions League group stage, including Cristiano Ronaldo, Alessandro Del Piero and Robert Lewandowski. In true Haaland fashion, he finished his short spell in Austria with more goals than appearances. In just under 11 months, the Norwegian goal-scoring machine scored 29 times in 28 appearances so it was inevitable that a big club like Borussia Dortmund were about to pounce and pinched him for a bargain 20 million euros. Now then, can you guess how Haaland announced himself to the adoring yellow wall in Dortmund? With a hat-trick, of course. The sensational giant scored three times in 23 minutes to fire Borussia to a thrilling 5-3 win over Augsburg. Bizarrely, Haaland was on the bench once more in his second game in Germany, but that didn't matter once more, as he wasted no time in adding two more to his tally, meaning that despite playing just 56 minutes, he blasted in five goals to earn the January Bundesliga Player of the Month award. Is there anything this guy can't do? Haaland actually completed his first Champions League campaign with Dortmund following his transfer from Salzburg, 
finishing with 10 goals on the biggest stage and 44 club goals in all competitions in his last campaign as a teenager. Not bad. Borussia Dortmund CEO Hans-Joachim Watzke summed things up pretty perfectly when speaking of Haaland. There are not many who are 1.94 meters tall and that fast. Actually, nobody else comes to mind. His success at Dortmund got Haaland to where he is today, with him sat comfortably at the top of the Premier League scoring charts in England. His figures in Germany were once again phenomenal, and Pep Guardiola just couldn't look past a goal-scoring machine who scored 86 times in 89 matches for BVB. It was inevitable that there would be a race amongst Europe's giants for Haaland's signature, and it was Manchester City who won that race to the delight of their fans and the despair of every other football fan in the country. City paid the reportedly generous release fee of £51 million, with a total cost expected to rise to around £85.5 million once add-ons are activated. Upon signing a five-year contract at the club, Haaland was initially thought to be earning around £375,000, but recent reports suggest that figure is miles off the mark, with one journalist claiming that his wages is thought to be an eye-watering £900,000, thanks to some almost guaranteed bonuses. I wonder if one of them is related to goals. English football fans have finally been given the chance to see the bizarre football phenomenon up close, and although he appears ungainly and awkward, it's fair to say he gets results. Actually, that's an understatement. Tongue-in-cheek petitions have already been made by football fans, who claim that it's just not fair that City get to use Haaland in their team and want to see him kicked out of the Premier League in order to level the playing field. An amusing explanation of the petition claims, now is the time to take action. It was all fun and games at the start, but it's now becoming a matter of national security. Us football fans are a fickle bunch, however. If you cast your mind back to this season's Community Shield, Liverpool's new marquee signing Darwin Nunes was the one who came away with the plaudits thanks to his winning goal when a beleaguered Haaland was left to miss an absolute sitter at the other end. Oh, times have changed. In fact, we've even made a video comparing the two hitmen at the start of the season that you can view on the channel. Two and a half months into his reign as the king at Manchester City, Erling Haaland is already set to break every record going. His blistering start of 15 goals in nine Premier League games sees him just eight goals away from the total that Son Heung-min and Mo Salah reached to secure last season's golden boot. A quick reminder though, we're still in mid-October. And speaking of Salah, he would probably have thought his record of 32 goals in a 38-game Premier League season would be safe for eternity. He will no doubt be casting plenty of nervous glances towards Haaland's ever-growing tally. If Haaland keeps up this terrifying rate of goal scoring this season, he will finish his first Premier League campaign with an incredible 63 goals. At the age of 22, Haaland has already scored a frightening 155 goals in 196 professional appearances. It's only natural to compare him to the greats and what they were doing at the same age, so we'll do that now. Cristiano Ronaldo had scored 102, while Messi was ahead on 140 putting Haaland 15 goals ahead. It looks like we've got another member of that conversation. What are your thoughts on Erling Haaland? Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to know when we next upload.